Incentives to Sustain Forest Ecosystem Services, a review of lessons for RED, is a publication which has been done by IID in partnership with the World Resources Institute in Washington and the Centre for International Forestry Research in Indonesia. The work was commissioned uh, by the Government of Norway as an input into their forest climate strategy. The document looks at four regions and is based on case studies from these four regions. These regions are the Amazon Basin, the Congo Basin, Southeast Asia and the Miombo <coughs> woodlands of East and Southern Africa. In these four regions we looked at the drivers of deforestation. These include the economic incentives for deforestation, the role of governance and weak tenure, the importance of infrastructure development and contradictory government policies. What's very clear from these very quick reviews is that we understand the drivers of deforestation, but deforestation in, in any one particular site is m driven by some or all of these variables and they can change over time. What's also very interesting is the variability of deforestation rates across these regions. There's five key policy recommendations that are coming out of the study. The first is that payments for ecosystem services can and will be a major part of addressing deforestation. But we foresee significant challenges in moving from the current pilot programs to serious scale. The second issue is that of the relationship between payments for ecosystem services and poverty. We find little evidence of negative impacts on poor people, but we also show that these benefits are really going to be marginal rather than substantial. The costs of red and addressing deforestation were our third area of recommendations. The models that are predicting the costs are really rather coarse at the moment and we predict that the eventual costs will be somewhat higher. Governance is a key issue which emerges from the study. RED will be implemented in, an, in a relatively weak governance framework in many countries and there are two options. Either governance can be improved and then RED is implemented or we develop a red architecture that can be delivered in a weaker but hopefully improving governance environment. These are choices for policy makers to make. The final area of policy that we looked at was monitoring. Red will require effective monitoring. Satellite and remote sensing provides a number of options but these need to be complemented by effective and robust ground-based methods.